people die in America through shooting. Thank God you don't have a gun. Because you. <laughs> now watch this. So, but some of you, do you know what you are going to do? You all will not come like, eh, Aguia, go and do blessed transplant. You won't do that as a child of God. But you will go and look for the one And the moment you do that, it comes back to the next verse, honoring your wife. So the word honor there means that for the sake of my wife, I'm not doing this. Oh, you are not listening. I am not doing this for the sake of my wife. A guy, a guy came in temptation physically with his boss. He is the deputy, the boss is the, the, the woman of the top company. And they, 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 one day the boss called after work. He said, come to my office. When he went there, the woman was lying in the sofa, almost naked. And he said, I've been happy. And he said, I know my boss's office is a lot of security issues. Once, once, once his door opened and entered, he just pressed a button under his table and the door is locked. And I went there and he said, the wife was lying. He said, I'm so much in love with you and all that. And I said, just, and he looked at me and said, Madam, I'm telling you, it's not that you are not beautiful. Every man want to have you, but for the sake of my wife, I don't want to do this. And I want you to put yourself in the shoes of my wife. And the woman pressed a button, the door opened. So the guy told him, I said, I'm a man, and I can do this. But for the sake of my wife. So some of you, sometimes when you are sinning, you must find something that stops you. your wife it's a whole message i'm going to run this thing for some time what do you mean by paul say honoring your wife you can marry an other honor your mother more than your wife so your mother has become the dictator of the family oh you don't want to hear this no don't push me because i'm going to preach this in the way you don't like it are you hearing the word of god is very confronting the word of god can confront you that is what it is honoring your wife so, a man that is honoring his wife, when the mother visits them, the mother cannot come and say, open the fridge and let me see. What is here? Hey, so this is what? Mama, please, cow meat. Ah, what about this pork? Hey, what about this chicken? Mm, that's the reason my son is not buying anything. The you, the guy, is standing there. Oh, mommy, mommy. Oh, mommy. No. And your mother-in-law your mother has come and called somebody's daughter. Hey, where are you? Uh, um, uh, uh, what, is, what is even her name? What did you say your, your wife's name is? Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, come here. What, what is this? Mama, you say you eat breakfast. This is fried egg. Did I tell you you fry egg like pancake? Is that how you, your mother taught you? <laughs> no. And you, the guy is standing there. You are not saying anything. You are not honoring your wife. The moment you are doing that, your prayers are cut off. God has made the heavens breast. You see, the first, for the sake of my calling, eh, I, I was in America and some pastors were pushing me to preach and I said, listen, I've come up, I'll survey your nation, you can't handle my messages. He said, the messages I preach, your culture cannot handle it. And he said, bro, but prepare the message that we can handle. I said, that is the danger you find with me. I'll stay at home, prepare a message, come back to the office, spend 15 minutes to do rehearsal. God has never let me preach one of it. Everything I've preached from the beginning to now, I didn't know where it's coming from. I asked you to turn to the book of Hebrews because I was going to. <laughs> Give somebody a high five and tell the person this is good. Give somebody a high five. Because I, 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 and you know, I, I said I'm going to continue my message on faith. The moment I said that, I heard from heaven, close it down and step out from the puppet. The moment I stepped down, he took over. And I don't know what I've said. Now, the 
second reason you must do this is that only God knows everybody sitting here what you need. The greatest responsibility with the prophetic grace is to obey God. Even if it doesn't appear sensible. That is why if you come to such a family, God can dress the things you are doing at home. Somebody came here and said, and the person, the wife came and said, huh? So everything we are saying here, you have gone to tell the prophet. <laughs> everything we are saying here is what he said. And the wife said, God is my witness. I have never spoken to this man in my life. It's even too difficult to get to. I have tried to get the man's number for six months. I don't have it. How many of you don't have my number? 0288 <laughs> Call me after church. You see, you don't believe me. You didn't write the number down. Why is nobody writing the number? Should I repeat the number again? Somebody say, what is 0288? Hello. Let's continue on this thing next week. Next week I'm going to talk about. Listen. Next week I'm going to talk about. We are going to continue with the family values because, folks, it's very dirty out there. In the Western countries, it's a mess. I'm telling you. My son was telling me something. He said, Daddy. I was watching something on TV. Just before we left America, I said somebody has killed himself, killed his wife, and killed his two children. Even the way they shoot is quite good, but the wicked other one, one man could die is three case. Twelve years, eight years, and six years. Stood by the train station. When the train moved, he jumped all of them into the train. Kill his wife and children. And I say, if you want to die, you go. Look at the husband and say, if you want to die, boy, go. Somebody loves me. No, I love Job wife for one thing. He said, Job, are you still holding on to your integrity? There's a man neighbor who has been chasing me. Die quick so that I can get into this thing. There are some things only in church that you can hear. When you step out of this room, out there is depression. Oppression, full of stress. That is why, at least, if you can't do anything within a week, don't sit down at home on Sunday. Let Sunday become your Sabbath day. Because only the Word of God can make the wrong right and correct your system. Without the Word, you will make wrong choices. Hello. That is why I started by telling you that the family is more important to God than the church. So family values. How can I live and marry for 40 years and it's only my wife that I know? Only the word of God. How can I live and marry for 40 years and with the value that I am solely sold for my husband? It's not that you wake up and you calculate it that you want to go and sing. But you can be tempted. And if the word of God is not strong, you fall into the temptation. Because temptation is not a sin, but yielding into it makes you sin. Why do you say temptation is not a sin? Then Jesus Christ said, because Jesus was tempted. So what the Bible says, he was tempted in all sides without sin. It means that Jesus was even tempted to fornicate. He was tempted in all sides. We have a high priest that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. So everything you are going through, Jesus went through it. So only Jesus can defend you and help you not to fall into it. And he can only give you that in church. Today, I want you to pray for about five minutes. And there are two prayers. Those who are married are going to pray that love. Put my life, my wife's love in my heart. 
Lord, put my husband's love in my heart. And those who are not married, Lord, help me not to make the wrong choice. Listen, you can be a very good chief executive and bad husband. And you still not have your peace. You can be a very good pastor, bishop, pope. That's why the pope doesn't want trouble, so he doesn't want to marry. But even that one, I don't know how true it is, but the secret they were telling why Pope Benedict resigned. He couldn't stand some of the pressure. Because let me tell you something to come and say you are Enoch. I mean, if God even pronounced me one, I'll refuse it. God come and say, Son, from today you are like Paul Enoch. I say, Lord, I refuse to be Enoch. I can't. No. Hello? You want to go and say that you are Enoch for the kingdom's sake? Fine. But can you stand it? I studied the chemistry of a man. The magnetic force God put in a man that attracted a woman towards him. And God told somewhere, man, look at the outward. You may not be tempted in church, but you'll be tempted in the office there. You may not be tempted. <laughs> you know, you don't get tempted in church. Everybody sitting by you is very holy. Look at someone say, holy brother, holy sister. Tell them. But it's not the same in church. Outside there. Want us to pray. Hallelujah. If you pass, listen to me, listen to this final thing. If you pass the marriage test, everything around your life will work. And God will put his approval on your blessing. Let me tell you this. If you can stabilize your marriage at home, a lot of people close in the office, they don't want to go home. He goes home drunk. But when you can, when you come to the place that you are in, hurry to go home. So, hey, hey, I'm Those in the office, I, I, what are you going to do at home? I, I, I'm I, my husband. Then that person says, Oh, wow, you, wow. I told you somebody came to my office those days at Ghana House many years ago. A man came there and then told me that uh, when they enter my office, I said, Good morning, Prophet Sunday. Is uh, prof, good morning. I said, Yes, how, how are you doing? He said, Fine. I said, Have you seen the devil before? I said, No. Wait, I'm coming. <laughs> then he was holding a woman's hand like they dragging her. <laughs> prof, this is the deputy devil. <laughs> And I was shocked. Very tall, beautiful, fair colored woman. More fair than Ruth. Then I look at her, then I was saying, I said, Wow, I said, Oh, so who is this woman? He said, Bro, this is my wife. Wow. I said, How many years have you married? He said, 15 years. Wow. How many children? He said, Four. I said, Wow. So you have married the devil's assistant <laughs> and have four children with her. So who are you? Rise to your feet. And what I told the man, I want to tell every man here. I look at the man eyeball to eyeball. In fact, when I said it, I walked out of my office and left them. And I told my secretary, I said, lock the office. Uh, ask them to leave. If they don't want to leave, lock them inside. I told them, I said, sir, every woman can become the devil depending on how you treat them. The book of First Peter, bring the scripture back. Any time, you see, that is why there is nothing my wife would do, Mama Ivy would do that. Because I'm a very prayerful man. And prayer is part of my ministry. I love to pray. And I've studied all the things. If there's anything I've studied in the Bible, it's hindrances to prayer. I'm just giving you one. There are about quite a number of them. One of them is hiding iniquity, living in sin, not forgiving somebody. But the major one that is very crafty, that people do and they don't know that is hindering their prayer, is when, because some of you are not hiding any iniquity, you are not really at loggerheads with anybody, but your marital home is not stable. And that one, God takes it. God doesn't take it light at all. 
Because once you have not stabilized the marital home, it affects even the growth of the children. They say in America, they do statistics. 80% of the children will what an arm robbery. They will all grow in dysfunctional homes. Recently, they did another statistics that all the genius, the new generation sharp brains, when they pick all of them, because in America, they separate the children. When they are coming from school, they put the intelligent one in a certain class and start programming them that you have an unusual mind and you can do all kinds. So they groom them. They say, they check and they saw that 99% of them come from a very stabilized home. What did the Bible say? Your wife will be like a fruitful vine and your children will be like olive tree. Run about your table and go and find a statistic and go and find the character of an olive tree. It doesn't die. The olives in the garden of Gethsemane 2,000 years ago, those, it's still there. They don't die. Children shall be like olive tree. Generations after them will reproduce themselves. What a benefit in just loving your wife. What a benefit in submitting your husband. What a benefit that you two of you can sit and talk for three hours. So married couple cannot communicate. No, it's, it's, it's just a, a mess. It's, it's, it's a mess. And the moment the home is not stabilized, it's dragging you towards temptation. And one, one girl is trying to be nice. And you think that he can substitute your wife. Go and repair what you have damaged at home. Yes, sir. Because listen, listen, listen. All truths are parallel. <laughs> repair what you have damaged at home and stay with it. It's nothing that is beyond God's repair. It's nothing. Stay with the word. It's just a change of mind. From today.